guys welcome back to vidish academy and now let us discuss an example under the concept pair of straight lines so we need to show that the lines represented by the pair of straight lines form an equilateral triangle with the area n square divided by root 3 into l square plus m square and now let us name the pair of straight lines as equation 1 and the next line as equation 2 and now let us try to find the pair of straight lines using equation 1 so this term is in the form of a square minus b square so here we can write 3 as root 3 whole square so using that formula we get a that is lx plus my plus of b which will be root 3 into mx Minus root three into l y into a minus b that will be l x plus m y minus of root three m x plus of root three l y which is equal to zero. So from this term, let us take the coefficient of x which will be l plus root three m into x. Plus of and then taking y as the common factor, we get m minus root three l into y. And similarly, here we get l minus root three m into x plus of m plus root three l into y, which is equal to zero. So here, this is one straight line. And now let us name this as equation three. And this is another straight line formed from pair of straight lines. So let us name this as equation four. And now let us try to check out whether these lines form an equilateral triangle from equation four and equation two. So from equation four, we get the value of a one as l minus root three m, and we get b one is equal to. M plus root three l, and then from equation two, we get a two is equal to l, and b two will be equal to m. And now let us try to find the angle between these both lines. So let us use the formula of tan theta, which is equal to a one b two. So here we get m into l minus root three m minus of a two b one that will be L into b one, which is m plus root three into l, divided by a one a two, that is one into l minus root three m plus of b one b two, which is m plus root three l into b two, which is m. And now let us multiply all the terms, so we get mod l m minus root three m square minus of L m minus root three l square, whole divided by, and here we get l square minus root three l m plus of m square plus root three l m. And now here we can cancel the similar terms in the numerator as well as in the denominator. Minus root three l m and plus root three l m gets cancelled. So that implies we get your tan theta is equal to, and then by taking minus root three as the common factor, we get minus root three into l square plus m square divided by the denominator. We get here l square plus m square, and here we can cancel these terms, and we get the value of tan theta is equal to root three. As here it is mod, we need to consider. Root three as positive, so that implies we get the value of theta. Let us consider as theta one is equal to sixty degrees, which is nothing but the angle between equation four and equation two. And similarly, we need to find the angle which is theta two between the lines three and one. So you get the result of angle theta two as sixty degrees. So as we know, theta one and theta two, we need to find theta three by using the formula 
which is theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 that is nothing but sum of all the angles in a triangle which will be equal to 180 degrees so the value of theta 3 will be equal to 180 degrees minus sum of theta 1 and theta 2 which is 120 degrees which is equal to 60 degrees so the value of theta 3 is equal to 60 degrees and now as all the angles in a triangle are equal we can say that these lines form an equilateral triangle so the formula to find the area is h square divided by root 3 so by using the formula where h represents the height of the equilateral triangle which will be equal to mod c divided by under root a square plus b square so here we need to consider only equation 2 and according to equation 2 the value of c will be n divided by under root a square which is l square plus b square which is m square so this is nothing but the height of equilateral triangle and now by substituting this value in the formula to find area we get h square that is n by under root l square plus m square whole square divided by root 3 so that implies here and here by performing the reciprocal to the denominator we get n square divided by root 3 into and here square square root gets cancelled so we get l square plus m square square units is the area of the equilateral triangle formed by the pair of straight lines and make a note of the formula which is h square divided by root 3 hope you understood the concept for more videos visit our website with academy thanks for watching have a nice day